hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are learning about the admin panel dashboard so guys now as we saw in previous video we have completed with the login and then now we are going to start with this welcome to admin dashboard so guys i have just designed one simple with the sidebar menu so where you can see that one panel i have integrated and simple label and four buttons where one button is user order feedback and home so these are the four buttons so guys now let's start with the uh, users things so guys we will be seeing in this video about the crud application of users admin will have the authorize or access to add users edit user update user search user and delete user so these are the options we are going to cover so guys we'll be seeing in many parts like four parts or five parts we'll be doing this user application so guys now let's start this with double click on this user button double click and here you need to tell users or you can just go as admin user dot vb so you need to create a form right so let's copy this and control x let's create a file form so right click add windows form and just paste that admin user and click add done so admin user form is ready so now guys let's design with the simple form over here so first let us copy that label and tell this label name as simple user data where we are going to add then we are going to retrieve okay so these are few options which we are going to see so let me just decrease the size with the 14 and now guys let's add the form so what forms and what data we are going to add so let's begin with that so first i will select with the label let me pull and drag let's increase this font size to 12 not 12 make it to 10 and this label text which is first name so guys same way you need to create other fields also first let us drag one text box paste let me just pull it and now this text box will be called as first name okay hit enter so same way you're going to copy and paste again and name this as this label first label first name as last name and then this text box so let's go to its text box name so this is the name right so instead of text box one you're going to tell last name same way so what are the fields you are going to create we have a table let me just pin this let's open this inside my fund.db database i have a users table where inside that users table i have few records so first name last name gender phone email password and user type so these seven fields we are going to add those input box so before that let's add one panel and then start importing the label and input box click and drag let's take this inside just just as per your requirement so guys now let's change this background color so i want to make it white so let us make it this safe so guys let me just cover with all these things so so guys now i have covered with this gender phone number email and password now the final one which the table was missing is user type so let's add this also and in this user type there will be some data so what kind of data we are going to insert that is zero and one so what is zero what is one we have to understand so for that let us write that on the text field itself on this user type we will tell first admin is equal to one and then user is equal to zero 
so i'll mention this one over here and this option will be given in a combo box so let's call that combo box click and drag so let's just add this over here edit edit item zero means user one means admin okay done let's save and now guys adjust this form as per your requirement and now let's add the button to add this data so let's search one button from the toolbox button right click a simple design button font make it to 12 which will be visible and then the form I mean button name which will be add user and simple background color I'm going to give this where you can see this appearance over here let's check with this text gray and yep guys that foreground color foreground text will be something whitish okay save this that's it guys and now let's add the data save this let's double click on this done and now let's type the code to insert this data into our database so this database users table let's begin let's go to a code and yes guys so let's type the code so first we need to start with the creating variable called connection so dim con as sql connection you need to create that so sql connection it's not loading you need to import that class first so let us import that imports system dot data dot sql client okay let's save this and now this will be supporting done as new sql okay and then create the command variable cmd as new sql command command and then the connection string dollar con which we have created this variable that connection and then your connection string name save if you don't find this just go to your database over here you can see that connection string spelling so same thing you have to copy and then this is your connection string path let's copy that and paste inside this double quotes and remove that double quote extra one from your path that's it let's save and now let's open the connection connection dot open function and same way you have to close the connection connection dot close function done now guys in this we need to check with the conditions like it is there or not so we'll move on with the if condition if then else and if done and now over here what you're going to check the input field these input fields are entered or not so this text box name you have to check first so over here you can see that name is first name so like that only you have to check with other names so first name dot text is equal to space is equal to double quotes and then give a or symbol i mean or condition and then the last name we have to call all the text box names so let us call all the names then gender it is you need to add the combo box not text box so let's remove this and copy and paste one over here and just make that and give this combo best name as gender and edit this items male oops male female other okay done save it let's get back and rename all the fields so let me just rename all this this will be a phone this will be the email email this is the password 
and this is the user type user type save control s and let's get back over here or condition and then again space or let's type that phone dot txt is equal to double quotes and then again give or see over here email password and user type 3 input fields more so email dot txt is equal to null or password dot txt is equal to null or user type dot txt is equal to null so if it is null then it come inside if there is no data you have to be inside this so what you are going to show is that using message box dot show function oops show function where you are going to tell over here please enter the details okay save this if it's if every text box is filled then you will be inside else condition over here you need to start the code so first let's create one statement variable statement uh, statement means nothing but your query so let's create this over here dim statement as new as string okay okay done so this statement variable as string we have created and inside this we are going to type the query so sql query or database query you say insert into table name so my table name is users so let's type users where your values v a l u e s values and open the braces so now we need to first it is id so this is auto incremented just ignore this so next is first name so you have to call that first name value perfectly okay so let's copy this and that input box name should be called so over here you need to give single quotes inside single quote double quotes where with the and symbol you need to paste that so this will be your first first column first name same way you need to proceed with the last name okay and symbol and inside this last name dot txt and then single quotes oops, no no space single quotes and then gender dot txt all the fields you need to just call one by one so let us call that next is single quotes double quotes and operator and inside this you are going to tell the phone dot txt and then give comma again single quotes double quotes inside that and operator and then after phone email is there dot txt txt final password and operator password dot txt so these are your input fields and then final which we are going to do the user type user type is equal to i mean dot txt we didn't include that and operator let's include that save done guys so there is no comma or anything over here after this braces okay so and now let us get enter and now let's type the command so cmd is equal to new sql command where inside this command function you are going to send your statement so let's send this statement and then give comma and then your connection string what connection string this which connection you have opened let's save and now let's type the query to execute this so cmd dot execute uh, non query done 
and then show the message box function and inside this user detail inserted successfully fully give comma and then msg buax tile dot information success success save and after this i want to clear all this fields so this field should be cleared so what fields you are going to clear first name last name phone number email password gender and user type should be there okay so let's clear that fields first first name first name dot clear function okay clear function then last name dot clear function and then phone dot clear function then email dot clear function password dot clear function that save and done guys so once it is saved we have to be on that same same page so in next video we'll be seeing with that search option so now let's test this guys so first let us run this let's start let's give admin login with at gmail.com one two three four five six login admin have logged in successfully okay now you can see this admin dashboard so let's admin have access of for all this so let's click on user users okay we didn't set that so let's set that first let's stop the project where is the dashboard it's over here and now double click on this button tell mm, admin user page admin user dot show function so before showing that he need to hide himself so me dot hide function save and now let's test guys start admin login with at gmail dot com one two three four five six login now done and now let's click on user you have come to user page okay so let's tell um new admin so this is new admin detail is gender mail some random digit phone number and then email address admin at gmail.com so this admin will be new admin okay one password one two three four five six and this admin will be we are going to make because we set this new admin so let us give one so admin is equal to one let's save this add user user detail inserted successfully after clicking ok all this input details should be cleared let's give ok you can see that all the details is cleared so guys now let us check this so let's close this stop the project let's open this user table show table data let's click on that you can see new admin detail has been entered new admin detail mail random digit new admin one at gmail.com okay this is user type one so guys successfully we have inserted the data from admin side okay so guys let's see next video about how to fetch this data into this text box so whatever data you are storing over here as an admin you can view that by its id so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share